Hey everyone, it's Kim, and today I want to talk to y'all about my first week-ish on Phentermine. Today is day number six of my Phentermine prescription, and I just kind of wanted to go over with you my stats so far, how I'm feeling, the symptoms I'm experiencing, and kind of how it's different than what I thought it would be, and how it's exceeded my expectations in some ways. So let's get started. Um, first, I will give you guys my stats. Um, when I first was put on Phentermine on Wednesday of last week, I weighed in at 190, not 100, <laughs> I weighed in at 291 pounds at the doctor's office, and at home I weighed in at 291.2. Um, the doctor's office is one of those like sliding scales, so it doesn't do like the point whatever. My home scale said 291.2, so I'll go with that um, for the sake of the math here. This morning, my weigh-in on my home scale was 274.6. That's crazy. That means I have lost 16.6 pounds in six days. That's insanity. That means I've lost around 2.7 pounds per day, give or take a little bit, depending on the day. Um, if I was to keep up that ratio of weight loss for the whole time, um, for the whole first month, I would lose 83 pounds in the first month. I don't think, one, I don't think that's physically possible. Two, I don't think that's gonna happen. I think my weight will not plateau, but I think it will slow down probably mid next week as my body adjusts. I think right now it's a lot of just water weight caused by the Cushing's disease. I think it's a lot of the swelling and it's just kind of melting off with the help from the, uh, the Phentermine. So I don't think that I will continue to lose weight so rapidly. 16.6 pounds in six days is un incredible. Um, you know, it's far exceeded my expectations. I was expecting around a five pound loss for the first week, you know, to be on par with the 20 to 25 pound first month weight loss average. Um, instead, I got three times what I was expecting to get. So I'm very pleased with that, but I don't think that the speed of weight loss will continue. I do think it's gonna slow down. How much it'll slow down, who knows? I could average out at a half a pound a day or a pound a day. I don't really know, and I'm interested to find out. Um, so now that kind of the stats are out of the way, I'm gonna go into my symptoms. There's a whole host of symptoms that come with Phentermine. There's a lot of contraindications for it. So ask your doctor and make sure it's the right choice for you if you are considering it. We tried pretty much everything under the sun outside of weight loss surgery before moving on to Phentermine. And one of the reasons we did was because there's a serious medical reason for my weight gain and for not being able to lose the weight. It's, it's pretty, it, it was kind of a last resort thing. Um, not last resort, because there's other things I could still do to lose the weight and battle the Cushing's, but that's not on the table right now. Right now, this is our course of action. Um, so it's a good one so far. I'm enjoying it. I'm, I think it's good. But side effects. The first one, nausea. This pill is an anoretic, which means it takes away your sensation of hunger. You don't feel hungry. Instead, I feel nauseous. Um, it's not overwhelming. I'm not like gagging or dry heaving or having to run to the bathroom to actually throw up. It's just kind of the lingering feeling of nausea in the pit of my stomach instead of feeling hungry. So instead of being like, oh, I wanna eat, I could eat a horse. It's like, um, Maybe I'll have like a small salad or no, give me some apple and peanut butter or, you know, a few saltines and a little bowl of soup, but I'm not going to eat that burger. No, I'm, I'm not feeling that burrito too heavy, too much. So I don't think if I ate the burrito or if I ate the burger, I would actually throw up. I don't want to try it, but I, I, it's the kind of nausea where I don't think I would throw up if I ate it. It's the kind of nausea that's like... Mm, that doesn't really sound so good right now. I'll have a salad instead or mm, let me have a little bit of soup, you know So which in turn is helping me as far as portion control and Healthier food choices. I'm I'm naturally wanting the smaller portions I'm naturally wanting the healthier choices that will be lighter fare on my stomach plain grilled chicken breast. Yes, please tacos No, thanks, you know, it's <laughs> 
it's all about balance and you know I had I did have a small thing of ice cream um, two days ago we all went out and I had a little I shared one with Caroline had a little bit and you know I felt okay um, but I didn't want to eat the whole thing it was like I felt full I was content and like so the nausea is kind of helping as far as the weight loss goes and portion control goes I think that's what it's designed to do um, like I said it's not unbearable it's not unmanageable it's just kind of there um, it was annoying like the first two or three days I was concerned and I felt like sick I was like oh I don't like this feeling but now I'm kind of just used to it it just instead of feeling hungry I feel like I'm just used to it at this point six days in um, another side effect is headaches I am prone to migraines anyway I, I've gotten migraines my whole life um, and this pill also gives you a boost of energy like a caffeine supplement so you don't need to be drinking coffee and stuff it gives you energy It kind of wires you that's kind of why I'm talking so fast um, but around 6 6 30 p.m. I notice I start to come down from it and then I get a little migraine if I drink four ounces of coffee I'm fine the headache is gone um, they're not like blinding migraines I don't have to go lay down I don't see the spots it's nothing like that it's just like mildly uncomfortable um, this bit of symptom is a little bit TMI but I think it's important for those of you who also have uteruses uteri uteruses uteronation <laughs> um, to know what to expect um, I looked it up and it can affect your menstrual cycle in several different ways um, you can have a normal cycle but around when you ovulate kind of in the middle you spot for a few days some people lose their cycle altogether and some people bleed nonstop for months I am experiencing what I believe is the first scenario my period stopped on the ninth <clears throat> I started <clears throat> excuse me something in my throat I start I stopped my period on the ninth I started fentramine this past Thursday was my first dose on Friday morning I noticed some spotting thought a little strange nothing crazy though Saturday morning it was heavier Sunday it was heavier by yesterday I was like am I starting my period already and then today it's back down to very light spotting so I'm gonna guess that I'm in that first scenario where you have a normal cycle and then just spot in the middle um, I don't know to what extent this drug is going to impact my menstrual cycle but if you think about it you know a death in the family a big exam at school a job interview all of those things can totally impact your menstrual cycle so it's not really a surprise to me that a weight loss drug that is changing how your body metabolizes it's changing how much food you're putting into your body it's changing your energy levels doesn't really surprise me that that's impacting my menstrual cycle it makes sense in hindsight once I looked it up at first I was a little confused but now it makes sense so I will continue to update on how it's affecting me in that area um, as I go because maybe it'll only do it this month maybe it'll do it every month I have no idea <laughs> so I will kind of post and let y'all know kind of what's up in as far as that goes uh, another kind of TMI constipation um, there are two possible poopy side effects constipation or diarrhea thankfully I have constipation and thankfully thankfully it's very mild it's more just I have the sensation like I know that I kinda need to go but if I sit for 30 minutes it won't come out so I walk around I do my thing and then I can go back an hour later and go no problem um, so it's not like super impacted it's not really backed up and painful and bloated it's just like I kind of feel like I have to go but it's not gonna come out yet so I'll wait a little bit and it'll come out later um, so that's pretty much the extent of that side effect thankfully it's the constipation and not the diarrhea because who wants diarrhea right um, another one it makes me really thirsty which is good because you're supposed to drink a lot of water on this day to day you're supposed to drink half of your body weight in ounces so I was 291 so let's just round to 300 for the sake of math that means that I was supposed to be drinking 150 ounces of water a day my doctor said on this pill I should drink at least 200 ounces per day for those of you mathletes out there there's about a hundred I think it's 128 ounces in a gallon of water so I have to drink about a gallon and a half of water per day just to stay on the hydrated level with this pill in my system 
if I wanted to be like extra hydrated, I could drink two full gallons of water a day. So I bought a bunch of these at the store and I drink one and then I fill it with water from our Brita and drink another half. And then I know I've had enough water for the day. So I just, I worked through it that way. Um, but drinking that much water makes me have to pee so often. It's like I'm pregnant again. I'm running to the bathroom every two hours, maybe even less. And it just like hits me out of nowhere and I'm like, oh, gotta go. <laughs> so, I mean, but that's a normal side effect of drinking enough water to be considered hydrated. You use the bathroom more. It's just one of those things. Um, but I'm not used to that. I, I usually don't, you know, I, I would normally drink about 150 ounces of water a day, but now I'm drinking like 250 ounces of water a day, between 200 and 250 craziness. Um, the best part about it though is I don't have to force myself because I feel thirsty. My mouth kind of feels dry and cottony, which is another side effect, which causes me to drink more water, which is what you're supposed to do when you have this pill. So I feel like all of those side effects, while they're inconvenient, they're working together to help me make better choices and help me do the things that I need to do in order to see this pill work. And obviously it's working 16 and a half pounds in six days, doing something right, right? Um, but I, I feel good. I have more energy than I've had in the last few months. I'm sleeping better at night. When I sleep, I'm like out. Uh, when I wake up in the morning, I can actually get up. I don't feel super groggy. I'm not like, oh, I wish I could have another hour. It's like, I can get up with my alarm. I can do the things that I need to do. I can work. I'm, pr I'm being more productive. Um, I can do stuff with my kids. So overall, I would give this a eight out of 10 so far. And eight out of 10 because I don't like what it's doing to my menstrual cycle and it makes me a little bit nervous. And I don't like the way it tastes. It's gross. <laughs> so you have to like do it really fast so it doesn't get on your tongue because the second it touches your tongue, it'll start to dissolve and it is nasty. Um, but yeah, overall, I do really like it. I will continue to keep you guys updated probably week to week or every two weeks on my progress with Fentermine, depending on kind of what's happening. Um, but I am going to let you all go now. Thank you if you watched this whole thing. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.